So a student comes up to me yesterday and says, I need to make a speech bubble in my adventure game. So when they meet a character, a little speech can type out, a bubble can pop up. How can I do that? So here's sort of step one. We talked about how to solve it, and we coded in, got it working. So I thought, this is one that every year people ask. So here's a little video on uh, the basics of it. Now, this video is going to be video part one in it. There's a few stages to this. This video is going to be about getting the bubble up with the text that you want to show. And when you click the bubble, the bubble disappears. The next videos will show you how to make multiple messages in the bubble and how to make it type out like a typewriter so it looks so cool and uh, real time. So here we go. I've already got a player made and a little world here. So what I'm going to do is I've made this object called the text box. Now the text box has a sprite. It's just a giant bubble. I didn't take a lot of time to make this look good, right? So keep that in mind. I just grabbed a bubble on Google. Here's what I have. This text box bubble that I'm going to make. In the create event, I give it a variable called text. Okay, it's an instance variable. It owns it. It's going to store some information. By default, it's nothing. When a text box has its draw event, it draws itself out and it draws its text variable, whatever it's storing in its text variable, it draws it out centered. So this is just this code here. Draw itself, that'll draw the bubble sprite out, right, that it's been assigned. Set the H align, so if you don't know these commands, horizontal align and vertical align, you can set them so they'll be right on top of the XY uh, center point origin of your sprite or your object. Then I actually draw the text right in the middle but because I'm drawing right at the X, Y of the sprite and it's aligned, it'll actually do any up, down, left, right movement needed to make it centered. And then I just like to put it back to normal drawing. So I go back to draw left and top just so anything else I'm drawing in my game isn't going to be all centered like that anymore. So this is the basics. Now how do we actually use this text box? Well, what you do is when you go to make the text box, and I've just made it here in a cheesy way. I've said player presses the T key. Okay, let's test it out. I make myself a text box. So 100 pixels above the player. You know what? I'll make it even higher just so I know I'm clear. And here's the key. You want to tell the text box that you just made. So this is its ID. And if you're not solid with this, I this idea of getting instance IDs back from scripts, you know, you really should. There's so many good things you can do with it in Game Maker. So I have its ID, and I say, hey, text box I just made, set your text variable equal to... Hi there, mom. Okay, and that's it. This variable gets set in the object, and of course, in our text box, that was this variable here, text. So now it's been set. And when it goes to draw, that's what it's going to draw out. Now, there's really only one other little thing we should add here. We should add add event, mouse, left pressed, and you know what's coming here when they click the text box. For now, we do instance destroy. We'll come back here later, though, and advance it so it goes on to the next message, right? That's supposed to be shown. All right, that's basically it. Let's slide these down. I want to hit the play button. And the all exciting hit the T key. And... Here we go. Bam. Oh, no. No text. Let me check why. Oh, so I came back. I found my problem. I had actually set my color to white uh, somewhere else in the program. So I was drawing white on white on the bubble. So here's the fix here. Draw set color. See black. And uh, once we do that, you can see I'll be drawing black on top of white. That's a very common uh, mistake I seem to make and others seem to make. But now I hit the T for talk. And there's my hi there, mom. I click on the bubble and it's gone. Not bad. Now, I know somebody's going to say, what happens if I want two lines? So I'll just quickly show you how to do two lines. When you make the bubble in the player T, Game Maker for some reason uses this symbol here. Okay, this little hashtag takes you to a new line. And so now we give it a little run, and we should have two lines nicely centered. Ah, there you go. Okay, so it works nicely. 
Now, this was part one video, right? What we're going to do in the next two parts is we're going to show you how to make it so you can have multiple clicks. So as you click, you're clicking through a conversation, right? That keeps going each time. That's going to use lists. And then we're also going to add the little uh, typewriter style where the letters come ch -chung, ch -chung, ch -chung, ch -chung, ch -chung, and they come and they're typed one at a time into the box with a little typing noise. So it gives a little bit more of a real time feel to it, right? So you can go check out those videos. Thanks for watching.